Hello, my name is Gabriel. I'm interested in Japanese culture and history, so I decided to visit Toyama. In Toyama, there are many natural landscapes and old traditions. I'm happy I was able to experience what Toyama has to offer. I'm going to present my four day trip to you today. Toyama is one hour away from Tokyo by plane, leaving from Haneda Airport. From Toyama Airport, I took a bus and a train to get to Takaoka City. In Takaoka, I went to this place called Hachou Michi. Takaoka is a city with a rich history where you can walk around and see many classical buildings. Takaoka City was founded in 1609 by Toshinaga Maeda, a feudal lord. Many merchants and metal casters lived there and helped the city thrive. For lunch, I tried the local cuisine called Shojin Gozen. This dish here is an example of the kinds of delicious food Japan has to offer. It's made without using fish or meat, so it's really healthy and there's a lot of vegetables and tofu in it. You should definitely try this, it's really good, really delicious. After finishing my meal, I headed to Zuiryuji Temple, one of Japan's national treasures. This precious structure is the only national treasure in Toyama. I can really feel the history in this place. It's so calm. It's like it envelops your body and soul. In Takaoka City, there are many places where you can feel the history around you. Wow, this is such a huge Buddha statue. It's really nice. This is the Great Buddha of Takaoka, said to be the third largest Buddha in Japan. Its beautiful face leaves a deep impression. This is Kojo Park, where each season provides different vegetation for visitors to enjoy. In the spring, there are wonderful cherry blossoms at full bloom. I went to the Takaoka Mikurumayama Museum. For example, the Mikuru Marks, the Kesuri Marks, the Naka Marks. This is a uh, Japanese float. Ah. Another called uh, Mikuruma uh, Yamaboko Wayatai. Ah. Uh, this is uh, registered as a uh, both tangible and intangible uh, folk cultural properties of Japan. Hey, what do you guys think? This costume looks pretty nice, huh? So the floats of the Mikurumayama festival are made with the highest quality uh, lacquer works, metal works, and textiles. They're true pieces of art, actually. Kanayamachi is a district made by metal casting masters of Takaoka. Even to this day, the neighborhood preserves its traditional appearance. There are also museums that present the local metal casting techniques and workshops where visitors can experience metal casting firsthand. Oh. Okay, so I got to try and make my own decoration plate, as you guys can see. And uh, it's really nice, it's really fun that you can experiment with uh, traditional crafting techniques and make your own stuff, like I did. This is the second day of my trip to learn about the culture and history of Toyama. To start, I went to Johanna by train.
Johanna is said to be the Little Kyoto of Toyama, where you can experience history and culture deeply. In the spring, there are very interesting events like Johanna Hikiyama Festival and Johanna Mugia Festival. Johanna also boasts a 400 year old weaving industry. This is Johanna Odiakata, where visitors can learn about the history of weaving in Johanna. Inside, there are original woven fabrics for sale, and also a coffee shop and gallery. Johanna is a city famous for weaving. Uh, this is the first time I ever tried to weave stuff. I made this coaster, it was really fun. What do you guys think? I headed to Gokayama, a World Heritage Site recognized by UNESCO. I took the World Heritage Bus, which connects Takaoka, Gokayama, and Shirakawa Go. This is Aenokura village in Gokayama. It's the first time I see a place like this. And also, this is not just a tourist spot. It's actually a village where people live here. So this is a really nice thing about this place. At the Aenokura Folklore Museum, tools that villagers used in the past are on display. It is a chance to get a glimpse of life at that time. So one time, just a little. Second time, just a little. There is also a spot where you can try making your own Japanese paper. I made my own Japanese paper. I think this is my best creation so far, first and best. <laughs> I spent the night at a traditional guest house. This place gets some of the heaviest snowfall in Japan. To protect the houses from it, the thatched roofs are made at a steep angle. Many houses date back to the middle of the 19th century, and in the past, the attics were used to raise silkworms. It's an awesome thing that you can spend the night in a World Heritage Site and experience how life was here in the past. On my third day, I took a bus and a train to Toyama City. I ate the local noodles, called Toyama Black Ramen, at a restaurant by the station. Mm. The soup of this ramen is really thick. It's made mainly of uh, soy sauce. It's really delicious. I, I wish I could eat this more often. Mm. In the afternoon, I took one of the city's colorfully designed streetcars.
This is Ikedaya Yasube shop, remodeled from a warehouse that was used to store crude drugs. Toyama has a long history of medicine making. This is a pretty interesting package, right? I gave a shot at making pills in the traditional way. Okay, let's see. I think... Okay. How did it go? No. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> Can I try again? This is, this is harder than it looks. Pretty difficult. At the Glass Museum of Toyama, I found many beautiful modern works of glass art. The last day of my trip in Toyama was coming to an end. This is the Fugan Canal Kansui Park. It is a park full of trees and water. Here you will find the best design award winning Starbucks. It's amazing how there's such a beautiful place full of nature so close to the heart of the city. Toyama really does have a special charm to it. Okay guys, our four day trip around Toyama has been a lot of fun. There's a lot of historical and cultural experiences you can't have anywhere else in Japan. I feel like there's so much more stuff to do here, I definitely want to visit Toyama again.